NVIDIA is trying to hide a fan from us. Looks like the 7600 is looking pretty good. And AMD's best card is the one you can't have. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Monday, July 31st, 2023. We are currently still in Vancouver, Canada. We just got done experiencing LTX. It was a great time, and we're currently still drive streaming our trip back home to Pittsburgh to make sure that we can get home. So you can come watch us there. We're still giving away the 13900K RTX 4090, which we actually got signed. So this 4090 has had its body touched by so many tech YouTubers, signed by so many people. You got Linus right there. You got Mr. Luke Lafreniere showing up right there. It's It's been a good time here at LTX 2023. This is part of the whole PC that we're gonna be giving away thanks to Micro Center sponsoring our trip out here. So come watch the stream and you can earn points in order to enter into that. But what you can't enter into is the 4090 Ti because we talked about in last week's episode of Hot News rumorly that the 4090 Ti has been canceled and that Nvidia is no longer going to be pursuing it either due to heat reasons or the fact that they just want to reserve their fastest chips for AI and making sure that you can't get it. But we do have new pictures of the quad slot cooler that was supposed to go on that bad boy and it was hiding a secret fan in the center. This is on top of the fan that's going under the GPU, the, the fan that goes on top of the GPU. And then they had a central fan that was supposed to help dissipate the heat even more with rumors that the TDP on this thing was supposed to be over 600 watts. It's obviously necessary that it needs to be that thick and then also have that many fans to keep everything cool, especially with VRMs and all of that. But you'll never get it, at least allegedly, it's just gonna be a pipe dream for you. But what's not a pipe dream is today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. And as many of you know, I was recently bedridden from severe nerve pain in my neck. During that time, my mind raced at all of the things that I just couldn't do, like cook, clean, take care of myself, work, didn't even film hot news, or even take care of my kids. Now, thankfully, we found out that my nerve pain stemmed from having shingles and not from any sort of injury, but it was scary to see how quickly my life changed just overnight. And I have been constantly running through the scenarios of how possible it is to have an injury just upend my life from an accident or otherwise. But thankfully, I know that the one thing I wouldn't be daunted by is the process of getting an injury claim submitted. Because with Morgan & Morgan, submitting an injury claim is so easy. Morgan & Morgan has modern the injury law process so you can submit a claim and have it reviewed by a lawyer without ever having to leave your couch. And as somebody who was in nerve pain, that's a big deal. Not having to get up and do anything. You can sign documents, upload pictures, share medical records and doctor's bills all from your phone. You can even text with your attorney and case manager without ever having to go into the office. And when you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney is one of the first things you should do. And with Morgan & Morgan, submitting a claim is so easy. More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan & Morgan when they're injured in an accident. So if you're ever in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan, submit a claim in eight clicks or less, and you can have America's largest injury law firm fighting for you. You can get started at forthepeople.com forward slash UFD or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. Big thanks again to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring today's video. And what I want you to spend eight clicks or less on is checking out this new graphics card that Sapphire has announced. The RX 7600 has been announced for a while now, but every single time I see a company manufacturing or decide to take a step outside of the norm when it comes to designs. I want to showcase it here in Hot News so that way we can continue to encourage manufacturers to make good designs like this. So they have a party animal version of the RX 7600, which is a game that should be releasing sometime later this year. It's actually very cute. It's based on the game. I think the game is akin to Humans Fall Flat or something like that. I might be quoting the wrong one, but I absolutely think this is a great design. People should buy it and we should have more companies actually producing these types of graphics cards. And I think we should have Reese producing some deals over in Seattle because we had to leave him there. He wasn't allowed into Canada for, you know, Reasons. Hey, CL team checking in. Yo, welcome back to EFT Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals on the internet. And I might not be in Canada, but I still got deals for you guys. But we're starting off today's episode in a special way with our friends and channel sponsors, Jawa. Because today we're taking a look at an incredible build from Forge Computers with their ultimate value gaming slash streaming PC. This thing's rocking a Ryzen 5 3600, a Sapphire RX 5700 XT 8 gig, 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 megahertz CL16 RAM, and a team group MP33 1TB NVMe SSD. We have a gigabyte 
B450M Wi-Fi motherboard being powered by an Apivia Prestige 600W 80 plus gold power supply all fit in a Bitfenix Nova Mesh MATX case. All this together makes an incredibly solid system for only $599 which is one heck of a deal and that's why 56 Jawas are currently watching this listing. And don't forget if you want to pick this up for yourself you can use the code WELCOME10 for $10 off your first order making it that much sweeter of a deal. But then moving on to the rest of the deals that we have today you can pick up the Corio 27 inch 1440p 144Hz curved VA gaming mono which would be a great pairing for the Jawa deal we just listed because you can pick this up for only $143.99 making it $58 off which is honestly a mind-blowing price to get into the high refresh rate game. But then we also have this MSI Mech Radeon RX 6750 XT 12GB going for only $329.99 after rebate which is a total of $50 off. And then if you want something more on the Team Blue side of things then you can pick up the Acer Predator Bifrost RX A770 16GB graphics card for only $339.99 making it $60 off. And that's it. Those are the deals you can find these and more linked in the video description. And once again thank you to our friends and channel sponsors Jawa for letting us take a look at what Jawa has to offer. And with that I'm gonna hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. Time for me to go cry because I'm, I'm stuck here. Thank you Reese baby I miss you but I also am gonna probably have to miss one of the biggest launches this year because on July 28th AMD officially announced the RX 7900 GRE or Golden Rabbit Edition which appeared to have been just a VRAM cut down version of the 7900 XT but it turns out it's actually a lot more than that and it comes in at a pretty fine price point so the 7900 XT as you remember launched at 899 this thing only has 16 gigabytes of VRAM compared to the XT's 24 and according to AMD's own internal benchmarks it's within a few percentage points of the XT but definitely beats out the RTX 4070 and a lot of people were thinking that this was going to be a China release exclusive but it turns out it's actually popping up in more places than you would think so the GRE is actually being offered offered in pre-built devices over in Australia and potentially even in Germany where this graphics card is now being sold. It is still not being sold directly to consumers where you could buy it and slot it into your system, but you might be able to get a PC that has it in there as well. But it turns out that this is not just a regular 7900 XT. It's actually been shrunk down and there's 4 billion missing transistors. If you look at the die shots right here, this is the XT on the left and this is the GRE on the right. It is slightly smaller. It seems to be something akin to what what AMD is announcing with their Zen 4C cores, which they're not efficiency cores, they are just tightly designed to give as much as regular performance, almost, but in a much smaller package, consuming hopefully less thermals and being, yes, slightly slower because of limited clock speeds, but at least good enough. So this seems to be an interesting launch. It's not quite clear if it's going to come to the rest of Europe, the rest of the world, or if it's still going to stay on the eastern side with Australia and China. But there are benchmarks that are now coming out from Chinese YouTubers and otherwise showing off that this card, yes, is kind of indeed where AMD said it was going to be in terms of 1440p and 1080p gaming. It is definitely very much ahead of the 4070. Probably not quite where the 4070 Ti is, but it is cheaper than the 4070 Ti at both 1080p and 1440p and the official MSRP from AMD appears to be $649, which again, hits that sweet spot between the 4070 and the 4070 Ti. Let me know if this was released in the US, would you be buying it? Is this a card that excites you? Or do you think AMD needs to be doing more to hit that more mid-level chip design and actually be a little bit more competitive with the RTX 4070? Would you like to have seen this at a 4070 price? Also, where are the rest of the cards, AMD? Where's the 7800 XT? Where's the 7700? None of this is showing up and we're just waiting for that to happen. And I'm not going to be waiting for the end of hot news because it's here. We're going to be live streaming our drive back to America. I don't know if it will be live by the time you guys are watching hot news. It depends because of time zones. Vancouver's three hours behind when we normally upload hot news. So we'll figure it out. We'll see you. Just, just come watch our Twitch stream in case you want to win the PC. The 4090, we tried to get it signed by a ton of people. Also, this box is huge. This is... Big thanks to Micro Center for making sure that we can give that away. Oh, we could also show off. We got we got to build our own screwdrivers. I got I got hot news colors and Zach got that. Oh, he didn't put his bits in. Special bit color. Oh, it's white on the inside. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Linus and team for bringing us out to LT Expo 2023. Hopefully we get to be invited back next year. I don't know, especially after how we behaved in the last night. Just give us a few. Bye.